Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. This week you've got the chance to buy a piece of me. Piece of me clothing. What do you think, you pervert? I don't even know what this accent is. But anyway, you've heard that right. This week you've got the chance to buy some of my clothes. Because recently I found a few clothes in my wardrobe that I just haven't been wearing that much. And naturally, I want to sell them. And I thought you guys might be interested in buying them. Because in a lot of my videos, especially the lookbook videos, I get people commenting and asking whether I would be able to sell any of the pieces featured in the video. And usually I don't, but... Now you've got the chance to. So I've made a Depop account, link in the description below, and some around here probably as well. And over there I've listed a few items, I've just listed a few to begin with, because I want to see how it goes. And if it goes well, I'll be listing lots more in the future. And you can buy these items. The price, I just estimate it, we can talk about everything, I can make you a good deal with shipping and all that. So yeah, in this video I just want to show you a few items I've listed on Depop, and tell you a little bit about them, because most of them are unique, one-of-a-kind items you probably won't be able to find anywhere else because I've designed them myself or I printed them myself or something. So lots of these items have got a backstory to them and I thought it may be interesting for you to know these. Before I forget, just for your reference, I'm 186 centimeters tall, that's six foot one. Just so you have a reference for the rough sizing of these items anyway. Let's get into it. So let's venture into my wardrobe and see what we can find. Up, up and away. Okay, I might have actually broken my wardrobe. <laughs> Right, so the first piece I'll be selling is this very colourful oversized hockey jersey. And this one I kind of made myself, like I didn't sew it, but I designed the whole thing and I got it printed and sewn. So you won't be able to get this anywhere else but my Depop. <laughs> Link in the description down below. <laughs> but no, I went a little bit mad with Photoshop and I've designed this thing that kind of looks like a Tumblr feed. It's heavily inspired by Tumblr and it has got these little middle fingers all over it. It has got a big middle finger on the back. And yeah, this is like a proper hockey jersey. It's a double XL, so it fits like a hockey jersey. Shit fit, in my opinion. Very oversized. It's made from 100% polyester, and it's that proper breathable fabric with the little holes in it. And the longer you look at this, the more Easter eggs you will find. Like under the armpit, this little Drake cover, which says, if you're reading this, good job, you can read. Yes, I try to be funny. Well, it's going to be hard to sell this, but since I haven't been wearing it in over a year now, I think it's time that we part ways. Goodbye, you will be missed. The next item I again kind of made myself it's this yellow t-shirt with Britney shaving her hair off and the text saying I feel like Britney. And again, I didn't make this thing, but I've designed it myself and I've got it printed and it's one of a kind and you probably won't be able to find it anywhere else. So this t-shirt came to be because I wanted a yellow t-shirt and I really liked the photo of Britney shaving her head. So I combined both <laughs> and I tinted Britney a little bit of violet lilac because it goes well with the yellow of the t-shirt and I designed that around the time when the I Feel Like Pablo merch came out and I kind of wanted to make a parody on that so I wrote I Feel Like Britney and yeah that's how the t-shirt came to be and now I'm selling it because I haven't been wearing it in over a Year. So this also is a double XL, but I'd say it fits more like a large L or a small XL and it's just a hundred percent cotton t-shirt So if you also want to feel like Britney link in the description below Right, the next item I fully made myself and it's this pair of like Windows 95 printed sweatpants. And the story of this item is that I designed the whole fabric myself, I got it printed and then afterwards I designed and sewed this pair of trousers with the help of my mum. But again, I haven't been wearing them for I think two years now, so... It's time to say goodbye, I guess. So because these are self-made, they don't have a size, they are just fitted to my incredible body. But no, I think they should fit like an M or an L. But I'll let you know that the cut is a little bit interesting because again, I've designed them myself and it was like the first pair of trousers I've ever designed. So these were supposed to have like a low crotch, but still be like skinny fitting. But everything came out a little bit too 
long um, so you kind of have to pull them up a little bit more they have got a little bit of stretch to them but other than that i think they're 95 percent cotton or something and five percent polyester so if you're into wet punk or just ancient window systems anyway goodbye it was nice wearing you <laughs> I, I can't do that I can't do that <laughs>